I have no funny quips this time. Dang it. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can increase the GPU and the CPU power of your Quest 2, as well as increasing the resolution. And if that sounds like something you are interested in and wanna find out how to do, stick around. I'm gonna show you. So before we get started, you're going to need the application SideQuest. If you're not familiar with SideQuest, SideQuest is basically just an application that allows you to install modifications onto your Quest 2. You know, kind of like if you were to add different modifications to a Steam library uh, for whatever games on your library. Just basically, it allows you to make those games better. The same thought process can be applied here with the side quest. And it even goes a little step further and allows you to get different applications that may not yet be approved uh, officially on the Oculus Store. So there's a lot of benefits to actually having SideQuest, even if you weren't trying to do this method of increasing the performance. But regardless, you're going to need it for this method. So if you do not have it, check this video out here. This guy explains how to get it really quick. It's not too difficult, but you wanna have that and make sure that you do activate the developer mode because you're going to need that on really anything to do with side quests you're gonna need developer mode on. So make sure you do that. So once you have that, we're gonna get into it. Let's start. All right guys, so side quest. Like I said, you have to have side quest. Make sure it's connected. Make sure you got developer mode on. You're gonna have to have it. It's the only way this method works. So we're inside quest, we're at the home screen. Go to the very top where it says device setting and tools, you'll click that. Now, you'll see at the second to the top here, it says refresh rate. You'll click the refresh rate, whichever one, if, if you haven't changed yours already, you can change it here. And so refresh rates right there. I just set mine to 90 Hertz right there. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna be looking for the CPU and GPU level. Now here is where you will find three different options to choose from, but there's actually five. And if you did want to fiddle with those outside of the options given, I'm actually gonna leave a command in the description that you can see. So you will have to get into command prompt for these. So this is what it looks like. And to actually change those, it'll have to be set up in the command prompt if you're wanting to go outside of those three different options you're given. So just keep that in mind. Now, you'll select whatever one it is you want for the GPU and CPU level. If you just pick one of these three, it'll actually do them both at the same time. So it's not individualed out. But if you do set the command prompt, it will individualize them. So you'll have to do one for the GPU and the CPU. So keep that in mind as well. Now at the bottom here, you have the texture or the resolutions that you can change here. So you've got a bunch of different options that it gives you and you can pick whichever one you want just so you can see I'm going to actually put these on the low end and then the very high end just so you can actually see the comparison change out after doing this. So just keep in mind though, in order to actually save a setting, you're going to have to hit the power button on your Oculus once and then hit it again. That'll lock it and then unlock it and should apply the settings that you've actually put on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the low end and then I'll do the high end so you guys can see the comparison inside the headset. Well, I'll just, it'll be quick. It'll let you guys kind of see what you're fiddling with, what you're working with here. And I'm just gonna set this to level two and I'm gonna go with a 768. So you can see it's kind of bad. It does not look very good in here, but what would you expect with such low settings? But now you can see it. All right, so we're gonna switch to the top end here, and I'm gonna switch this to level four and the 3072 resolution. 
and let you guys see that inside the headset. So we got the top end here going, and that would be the level four CPU and GPU and the 3072 resolution. And as you can see, it looks far, far better. Now I do want to be clear about something. You are changing the default protocols of the device when you change these settings. So you want to be aware that when you do tell this device to give you more power or give you better resolution or anything like that, you are going to be consuming more battery life. So I just want you to be aware of that. And that's probably why they do have it set, how they have it set up. So just know that your two hour battery life may not be two hours now if you decide to run it at a higher rate. Also, there, if you're not familiar with the process of overclocking, there's trade-offs. And when you're trying to find that perfect overclock, you have to sometimes sacrifice uh, some memory and maybe have to sa sacrifice uh, not having such a high clock speed on your GPU or something of that nature in order to attain the best balance of performance. So basically what I'm saying is don't expect to just get on here and just turn everything up to the max settings and think that everything is going to run smooth for you because it's probably not going to happen. I don't expect you to be able to crank this up to level four and the 3072 resolution and a 90 hertz in every game just run completely smooth for you. It's probably not going to happen. So what I would suggest is to play around with it and see what it is that works best for you. You may find that you do just fine at a, at a level three CPU and GPU with a 3072 resolution with uh, either 90 hertz or 72 hertz uh, refresh rate. You just kinda, you have to play around with it guys. So just be aware of that when you do go into this. I, I, I don't want to kinda, I don't wanna mislead you. So just be completely aware of what you're getting into when you do start messing with these settings because they do, they do have these there for a reason. And I don't think that anything's gonna mess up your device, like I like I've said. But just just make sure that you do do the proper testing for yours, because and every device isn't gonna be the same. So I can't guarantee you that a level three 3072 resolution with a 90 hertz rate is gonna work for this guy and that guy and that guy. It just might not happen that way. Guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you do have any additional questions for me please feel free to ask. I do not mind helping. I promise I don't. I say it all the time and I really mean it when I do. I don't mind helping. And if I don't know the answer to something, I will try to find it myself before I even reply and I try to respond pretty quickly. So even if I don't know, I, I try to find the answer for you guys. So please don't think you can't ask. If you got a question, ask. I don't mind helping. I really don't. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, please let me know what it was that I didn't do right and how I can improve. I'm trying to build something here for you guys and I hope you guys want to be a part of it. Hope you can subscribe, hope you can like, and I hope, you, hope to catch you in another one if not. So, remember guys, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.